Guys, do you see, uh, do you hear me? I don't know, from my side it says streaming, but I don't see any uh, screen. Am I heard? Do you hear me? I'm not sure what's happening. Let us see what's happening. It says I am live, but I don't see anything live, which is a strange. Okay, how we can fix this? I uh, know. Am I heard, guys? Can you see me? Uh, do you hear me? Am I heard? I'm not sure if anyone can hear me or not. Any, anyone can hear me? Look like it's not working. And okay, it's working. Okay, I don't know why it was showing not working. I apologize for this. Uh, um, uh, Google, they stop using Hangout on air, and I I'm not sure really sure not what working. what was this. this uh, uh, and now I hear myself uh, twice. Okay, I just turn this off. All right. So look like there is a different uh, format for YouTube now. Uh, we are not using Hanging Out. Anyway, uh, peace of Christ to all of you. May the Lord bless you all. And today we start with the auto music because we were trying to figure out what's happening. So with this, let us start. All right. Well, it is time. It is time for us men to take our rights. It's time for men to be protected. Imagine you are walking down the street and you see a beautiful woman. And because she is beautiful, there is a risk on you. You are under threat. It is time. Finally, it is time. I was always saying to myself, when the time will come, when the time will come and we men will be protected from those women. And finally, thanks to Allah and his religion, time had come, my friend. Finally. A senator who is from militia he is very genius and he is following a lot teaching and I will show you why he is saying this. PKR, Senator, I'm not sure what PKR mean. I'm, I'm not, I have no idea. I hope it's not something sexual because I think this Senator is a, is a, I think this guy is really worried about his health 
and women are really big a threat for him and you know I'm really disappointed of him because here he mentioned about men raping women what about protecting men from being raped by by women I mean come on you're a genius so the senator uh, Moot, Moots his name is Moots uh, his senator Moots Moots law what what Moots law mean to protect men from being seduced into raping women me finally finally we are going to be protected hey, brothers and sisters you are walking down the street and you see a woman like this she have lipstick moods mean a propose oh thank you for translating for me my English is weak my English is the same as the hadith it's weak Islam is weak and my English is weak so you are walking in the street and a woman she have lipstick how disgusting or she have some uh, eyeliner or makeup or you know and then you are being tempted who is going to protect you now who is going to protect us Mui men it is time it is time alhamdulillah it is time I'm going to move to Malaysia my friend because look like in this country now according to this idiot when a man he rape a woman it's not the fault of the man I mean the guy is a victim isn't it obvious all rapists now they are going to move to this country because this is the only country will protect them by the will of Allah and the guidance and the wisdom of Islam brother I mean can you even imagine how far the stupidity can go just to explain to you what does that mean what about we make a law to forbid banks from having money in the bank because the bank is seducing me to rob the bank what about we make law to stop women being beautiful so we make a surgery for every woman to be ugly because this is the only way to stop men then not to be seduced by women what about we make a law it says uh, uh, you know nobody is allowed to buy makeup use makeup with perfume nice clothing because this is always seduced or rape and by the way I'm really upset from women I mean look at the women I'm not going to talk about me how I look like God forbid none of you look like me I hope not and if you look like me I feel sorry for you <laughs> but I mean it's not even fair look at them and look at us we men I mean so finally somebody is thinking about our health we are being tortured and we are being victimized and men are not protected and everybody want to protect the women and now by the help of Allah we are going to be protected I hope the rapist will not hear this news because all of them they will move to this country now because anyone who rape a woman now he say he she seduced me and by the way this idea is not coming from this idiot there's a bigger idiot than him and let me show you this is the bigger one Sahih Muslim Sahih Muslim Jabir reported that Allah messenger may Allah please uh, with him peace on him uh, peace on him uh, sees a woman and attracted to her like what the heck see what women do 
See what do you what women do to the prophet, brother? Prophet is sitting in front of his door. Like imagine walking down the street, la 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 and then a woman walk by you and you are attracted to her. The prophet is a victim here. Isn't it obvious? So he go to his wife or his slave women. This is the this is the title. This is the title. Look look at the title. Should I hit my head in the wall? What is the wall? I cannot hit my wall head in the wall because then the Muslim they will make a law saying the wall seduced him to hit his head in the wall. So the title is if a man he is see a woman and he is attracted to her, he go to his wife or his slave women and have a boom boom. Jabir reported that Allah Messenger and look at the decoration after the name of Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah Himself is a prey on him. I mean, that isn't it obvious? So a woman, and so he came to his wife Zainab. Mm -hmm. Zainab, is that the same one he kidnapped from his own son? Yes, brother. And as she was tanning leather, the poor woman, she is sweating, she is doing tanning leather, and she like heating boiling water, and had sexual intercourse with her. Look at this camel. This woman, she is working. He came now because he saw he just saw a woman. He cannot stop. Once I was riding a horse, very very beautiful horse, you know, a Arabian horse. And I was a kid, and then I don't know what happened to this horse. Suddenly he started jumping and going crazy, and he saw why because he saw a female, beautiful female horse. Oh boy. And I, I do not know what to do. I mean, I have no idea. I was a very, I think I was maybe seven years old or eight years old. And the horse is really big and beautiful horse. And supposedly it was a surprise to me from my dad. And uh, the horse went so crazy. And I don't know what's happening. Like, what's happening? <laughs> this is Muhammad. Muhammad the horse. He saw a woman, he cannot stop. That's it. And then he went to his companion and he told them, uh-huh, what he told them? The women. The women advances and retires in the shape of the devil. See, brother, I told you. There's two things in life we should practice from now on, according to the prophet. Either we blame the Jews or we blame the women. Actually, why we are going farther? Let me show you Muhammad blaming the Jews and the women in one statement. Do you believe it? Here we go. The Prophet said, Well, it's not Bani Israel, meaning children of Israel. Meat would not decay. And where, if not for Eve, no woman would ever betray her husband. How disgusting. All the problem in the world, according to Muhammad, it's coming from two sources. Either the Jews or women. Wisdom. That's so deep. That's so deep. I mean, when when the word will come to the time we learn from the wisdom of the prophet? There is two source of problems. The Jews and women. And will make it more crazy if you are a Jew and the women in the same time, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. What is that? So the Prophet of Islam, he blamed himself not for being horny and going like a camel jumping over his wife when she is doing business, not respecting that this is not the time for this. Why? Because a woman, she just walk by. I mean, how dare you? How dare you to walk by the Prophet? Bani mean children's. Bani 
many children. So the woman advances and retires in the shape of a devil. So when one of you sees a woman, he should come to his wife, for that will reveal what he feels in his heart. Look at this wisdom. So this uh, senator, he learned from his prophet that women who they are uh, beautiful or wearing, uh, let us say, clothes, which is supposedly with seduced men, they are the devil. And they are the problem, not the rapist. <clears throat> but you know, remember this, that if this is a true, that means all the crimes in the world have an excuse. If we give an excuse to the rapist that the woman she is beautiful or wearing, you know, uh, let us say, uh, revealing clothing,
Judaism or Jews or etc. They say Islam is a mutual religion, uh, is not racist. It's not. This is racist. The Jews are a race, not only a religion. When you claim that all problem in the world is coming just from the Jews, that means you are racist. And Islam is a sexist. When you claim that all women, they are bad because of Eve, that means all of women, they are Eve, and all of them, they are bad. What else you want? What else, what else more we need to prove Islam to be an ugly cult? When Muhammad is see a woman and he claimed that women, they retire in the shape of a devil and they come in the shape of the devil, he just told the Muslims that always think about the women in such a way. So now if a Muslim man, he see a woman and he do what, what Muhammad did, he will not blame himself. By the way, Muhammad himself, he did rape many women. Right? Do we have any Muslim have any comment, anything to say? I'm really disgusted when I saw this uh, news and I find it very, very, uh, very savage and very stupid and very uh, wrong. And I believe that all of us we should stand against such a teaching because that's mean we are going to blame the women for whatever bad things happen you know can women seduce a man yes she can but there's women they are not wearing nicer clothes because they want to seduce you my friend there's women they are wearing nicer clothes because they like to look nice there's women they are putting makeup because they like to look beautiful and all women like that I never saw women, at least those weird though, there are some of them, they are weird though, they don't like, they they think if a woman, she put makeup, she is a, a you know, I mean, the, the feminist uh, movement, they have a cr crazy ideas. I saw like there's an article, they are saying that women should, should not shave hair under her arm, so they can be equal with men. <laughs> and what I don't know what that means. I mean, how how by not shaving hair under arm will make you equal to the men? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, there are some weird people between men and women. But put those in the side. If a woman, she dress nicely, she is not dressing for you. She is going the street and thousands of people will see her, not only you. If she dressed nicely, or let us say in a revealing clothes and came into your house, man, then she is coming to you. But even then, you have no right to rape her. That is a stupid excuse. Because the difference between us and animals, that we are a human who have a brain, and we make decisions, and we will be taken accountable for our decisions. So if you rape a woman, it means you made the decision to rape, not the woman she invited you to rape her really. Even if she is wearing whatever clothes she is wearing, where is your brain? Are you a donkey? Are you a horse? Are you an elephant? Are you a mule? Or you are a human? The only thing that, you know, differentiate between men, human, and animals that we have a brain to control ourselves. So raping women is an animal behavior. It's somebody decided to act like one, like an animal, not like a human. And when you act like a human, you deserve the punishment and the penalty for that, not the women. But as you see, in the Islamic agenda 
Women are the reason for everything wrong. I don't know what will happen to the Muslims if they see this photo now. According to this guy, I mean the senator himself, if he saw this woman, she is if uh, she look Asian. Are you saying if you see this woman, you will? Uh, oh boy! What this man will do if he see a woman? It is the woman fault. Look, she is beautiful. She we should shave her hair so she will not look like a woman, and then we should uh, uh, ask her to make her eyes smaller and we will change the look of her nose and uh, we'll take his, her eyebrows and then that will not make her seduce any man but even if you do that there is there is there is people they will be seduced there is people they will be seduced even by a goat even by a donkey so what we will do very 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 ugly teaching there's videos I saw them you know and uh, during the Iraq war you know the, the American they are watching everything around them at night and nobody they think nobody can see them at night and you will see a guy he is doing shish kebab with the donkey you believe it with the donkey there we go he's he been seduced by the donkey so now we should punish the donkey actually Muhammad he said so very disgusting logic women they are created in a way to be beautiful and even men they have their own beauty too which means God created beauty for men and beauty for women Women, they like men to be, look like men, and women like to be, like, I mean, the reason men he like them, because simply they are women. So this is very normal. So now what we will do? What about we make the women look like men? And now we make a law, the law, this law in front of us says, if you are a rapist, go rape, because all what you can do, he says, this woman, she seduced me. I look her, you know, I look at her and she was whatever. I saw something. I saw something on her seducing me. Very stupid. But this has shown us how dangerous this cult is. Because it's involved law and criminalizing the victims, not the criminals. Because the whole purpose of this law now is making the victim the criminal and the criminal the victim. So Islamic religion flip things upside down to make what's wrong right and what's right wrong. It's right for the women to be look like a woman. God created her a woman. What she will do? And now any man, he can blame the women for seducing him. He can claim anything. He can say, this woman, she have a nice voice. This woman, she have nice hands. Uh, this woman, uh, you know, there is, there is, there is a, once I enter a chat room in Arabic, in Paltok, it have uh, like hundreds of people. It used like, this is a long time ago. And this room was going crazy. Like, I, was, I became curious to know what's happening, why this room is so big. I went there. And everybody in the text says, can you move the camera to the left? Can you move it to the right? Little bit up. And I, and I click at, this, uh, the, the, at the person who is there asking to, uh, to show the camera. There's a woman, she is showing her foot. Her foot. Hundreds of Abdul watching a woman's foot. And they are going crazy. So what we will do now? A woman, she cannot use her foot because her foot will be playing for 
uh, rape, it was your foot. If you don't uh, show your foot, nobody will rape you. What if a, what, what if a man he like uh, women fingers? You know, there's crazy ideas in the in the you know there's people they like things crazy stuff. There's men they like somebody to beat them. There's you know there's all kind of uh, uh, sexual fantasy which is crazy. Maybe a man he like a woman wearing burqa. He get excited with that. Actually, women wearing burqa, they can seduce men more than women they are not. Because that creates a mystery behind the veil. You want to see what is behind the veil. You are curious to see who is this person behind the veil. I remember, you know, I was in the Philippines. And Abdul, he came, I was in the beach. And you know, always I take like a side where there's not many people there as much as possible. So I walk far away and I start swimming in that area. And then this Abdul, supposedly he's choosing a place where not many people are there. He jump exactly in front of me in the beach. And he keep coming, him and his wife, his wife wearing burqa, swimming with the burqa. And then he told me, can you stay away? Imagine why I want to stay away. I said, I, I was here before you. What about you go away? He said, but I am with my wife. I said, so what if you are where you are? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's an ocean. Go. Why you came here? I'm here before you. So you came just in the front of me and you came to direction to me. And now you are asking me to leave just because you have a family with you. And you think, what do you think? All of us, but people will be looking at your wife. So he got angry. He told her, get out, get out, get out. And she get out. And guys, you see everything. Because the burqa now is stuck underneath, she is wearing nothing, so she can swim. So when she came out from the water, you see everything. She is totally like naked. So men, they can they can claim anything. They can claim burqa women. She said, use him. If you look at women, Muslim women, hijab, the way they dress, let me give you an idea. For sure, not all Muslim women, they dress like that. Okay. We are trying to find uh, pictures which is not. <clears throat> what is that? I search for Muslim women. I got nothing but naked women. I mean, we cannot show that. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me. I, I got an idea. This is the wife of the Prince of Qatar. You can tell this woman she spent a lot of money on her makeup and her beautification. She have fake lips, fake face, fake nose, fake eyes. I mean, you name it. This woman, she is in the stage because she is rich and she have a lot of money. And by the way, her name is Banana. Moza. So imagine there is a man, he like banana, tiny perfume she used cost like seven, ten thousand dollars at least. And she walk by him. And she have you know like a, she have she have a good looking body and with all the the beautification surgeries she do already I think her belly balm is uh, is in her chest from the surgeries because she keeps stretching her skin to stay young. And he said, I like banana. And he decided to do something to her. Are we going to blame the women or we blame the guy?
Muslim women, when they dress Islamic clothes, they dress specifically clothing which seduce men. It's not really, you see, it's not it's not revealing clothes necessarily will make men get your attention or get the attention. Look at them. There is there is pictures I can show, but uh, uh, I'm trying like uh, to use like uh, uh, free to use, not like uh, with copyright. Let us see something else. Well, we cannot show you the rest actually. Forget it. This Google is a crazy. You search for something, you find something more crazy. Okay, forget it. So today, actually, uh, you know, this is what we wanted to talk about. And as you see, this is really crazy and this is not right. And women are not the one to blame. It is, you know, if the woman, she, proving to be guilty in something, then, okay, prove it. Like if a woman, she take off her clothes naked in front of a man <clears throat> and she jump with him in the bed and now he is getting naked and now suddenly she is saying to him, oh, you cannot do it. Even in this point, by law, you don't have the right to do anything to her, even if she is naked next to you. Because any sexual activities have to be by agreement of both parties. So if you force yourself, even in a girlfriend, she slept with you maybe 1,000 times before. Even your wife, who is lawfully your wife. You cannot force her into sex. What if your wife, in the bedroom, she changed her clothes and she got naked? What do you do? Do you jump on her and you rape her? If she don't want? In Islam, you can't do that. But righteous man, he knew that his wife should not be raped. How dare you to do that? Forcing someone into anything is wrong. What about sex? You see, when a man here rape a woman, that means the animal inside him is doing that. And any kind of sexual relationship is not a joy between two. It is pure animal behavior. Especially if it's only male doing that. Which means the women, she don't want that. It's disgusting, actually. So I don't know, really how how the muslims they can accept such a thing how you can accept that your sister one day she will be blamed for seducing a man who raped her what do you feel think about it think about it muslims your sister she is walking down the street and because supposedly she is wearing clothes which is nice not saying not necessarily showing her legs by the way because a man who is you see what is seducing is dependent in the country I just give an idea that, you know, a woman, she show her foot, they were going crazy. Like now they have satellite and things change. So before in Saudi Arabia, if a woman, she walk and her dress, when she walk, show a little of her skin. This is, this is tempting for the man, supposedly. Why? Because you don't see skin. Everything is covered. So if the woman, she is grabbing something from the guy, she is buying whatever, tomato, potato, and he see little of her hand, that is tempting. So actually, Islamic clothes bring more temptation, not the opposite. Because when you separate between man and women, you make the women more of something the man seek. 
Imagine you put a man in jail for 20 years. And then one day you bring a woman to his room. Maybe, not necessarily, depend on the person, he might act like an animal and he rape her. Because he did not see women for almost 20 years. So when you grow in a society where women are nothing but a sexual target, and the proof that they are a sexual target, you cover them. Why you cover them? Because simply they are a sexual. Uh, the whole woman for you is a is a is a is a sex toy. And by making her or forcing her to wear burqa, you made her a mysterious wanted sexual target. And this is why you see many of those who go to different countries from different culture and they see women suddenly wearing bikini or etc. They, they go into rape. Like what happened in England, what happened in Germany, what happened in Holland. You allow the man to come to you from the middle of nowhere, from a culture he never saw any kid women before maybe. He never had sex with the women before. He never saw a woman wearing short. And then you let him go in the street. And then those ideas... Those men, they will think that women who dress like this, they are whore. Otherwise, why she is dressing like this? This is how he would think. If a woman, she is wearing a short, that means she's a bad woman. If you go to Brazil, women almost wearing nothing is a, it's a normal, normal clothing in Brazil. Those people, they used to go totally naked before Christianity goes there. So if a woman wearing clothes revealing her you know her skin, short skirt, this is not this is not this is normal there. This is their clothes. But for a person who is coming from different culture, who he live in a culture where everybody wear a burqa, who when he walk in the street he is looking at his wife and his daughter as if he is a guardian dog. Or, you know, like, are you looking? Where are you looking? What are you doing? Islam make you think in the wrong way about women. Islam think about women wrongly. Islam make women nothing but a sexual object. When the woman, she is your mother, and my mother your sister, my sister, your daughter, my daughter, and she is maybe half or more of the society. And the second we make them a sexual object, we created a jungle where anyone can grab whatever he can, like animal world. And if we say to the man that you are raping a woman because she is beautiful or because she is wearing your revealing clothes that's mean we are giving the right for every man we are encouraging men simply simply to rape more women because this is what the, what this uh, this law will do a woman she will be raped they will take them to the court the man will say she seduced me and there's a law that says women or against women to wear uh, like a clothes which can be seducing or doing things. And who is the one who will decide what is seducing, by the way? The man. Who is this man? The crazy man who created this law. Which obviously he have a mentality of an animal. Because that means maybe if you have a long hair, you are seducing the man. If you have nice hands, you are seducing the man. If you have a nice voice, you are seducing the man. If you have a nice smell, you are seducing the man. If you wear high heels, you are seducing the man. So anything you do by being women, you are seducing a man. And that will make you not the victim, but the criminal. There is somebody, his name, J10. He says, Mr. Korsh, he want to let me because I am not a Muslim, wouldn't dare to talk about Christianity with me. Uh, G10, 
look like you are a very scary person, a scary person, especially you are J and 10. Is that coming from 10 germs together? And uh, why you want to talk to me about Christianity? What why you don't what you don't like about uh, Christianity, Mr. Germ 10? Are you there, Mr. Germ? We are scared to talk to you about Christianity. Are you sure? Really, are you sure? It only talks two words. Okay, uh, go, go give us two words. Guys, two words can destroy Christianity. Uh, go ahead. Here we go. You see, we gave you the attention you are seeking. Look like you are a very dangerous germ. Give us the two words can destroy Christianity. By the way, he will not talk to me now. He was talking about, I am not letting him to attack Christianity. And now we challenge him to do so. Look, he will ignore me. Are you there, Mr. Germ? Well, I will give you three minutes to tell us the two words to prove it, to destroy Christianity, or I'm going to send you a free shipping and hand it into Malaysia to this guy. I'm waiting for you. Time is ticking. Okay, get lost. Bunch of kids. Into brother and sister. I can destroy Christianity. Is that two words? Why? What's wrong with you? I that told you I can destroy Christianity in two words. Okay, I, we got that. We got it. What is the two words? In two words. And I cannot say them to you. Uh, why you cannot say that? Because if I say them, I'm going to destroy Christianity. Uh huh. So what we will do now? I cannot say them to you because if I destroy Christianity, then I will be blamed for Arabian women. Uh huh. Because they would say I'm seduced by Christianity, destroy Christianity. I mean, look at those idiots. Where they come to me from? Is that a collection from the antique store? <clears throat> hmm? so my friend anyone any man any stupid he blame women for rape is an idiot because rape simply is an act ugly act not just an act ugly act of an animal a person who cannot control himself. Why? Because he believe he have the right to rape a woman. It's the same as a person, like if, imagine if we say, you know, for anything, we, we can be seduced by anything around us. Not only women. What about somebody he been seduced by children? Who? Oh, that means he can rape children. Somebody is seduced by a donkey, uh, by the goat. Uh, somebody, he want to rob a bank because he's seduced by the money. Uh, somebody can kill because he like, uh, he was watching movies and he likes shooting people. The stupid mentality is sick. And all of us, we should stand against such a sickness. Anyone... He, you know, he defend rapist. You see, even even in jail, even in jail, if somebody is a child molester, his life is in risk. Which means even the criminals don't accept such a man. Even the criminals who do drugs, they kill people, etc. Still, even those they have, like a, a dignity, where they cannot go that far. And this is exactly what's happening, that Islam is teaching us that we blame the women for anything we do. Islam is anti-women. Islam always making the women a bad person. As we see, actually, how what, what more bad than Muhammad describing women that she is shaitan himself, she is Satan. For this woman, she did nothing. She just walked by. She did know nothing. 
she's a Muslim woman wearing the burqa, walk by Muhammad, and she did nothing. Yet Muhammad claimed that women, all women, not this women only, all women, they are the devil. So this is very dangerous and I wanted to make a topic about it because if we start thinking in such a way then we can make and give excuse for all kind of crimes we can do in our life. Always the crimes come from excuses. All the crimes. It doesn't matter what the crime is. Always there is a purpose of the crime. So if you steal the money of somebody, you have an excuse. You say, okay, he have money, I don't. Or I like to have more money. Here we go. You have excuse. Always, always, you know, in our mind, we have an excuse. But doesn't mean that the excuse is true. This is excuse to make us relax and feel good about what we do. So if you kill, if you rape, if you steal, always the excuse is ready. It's in your head. Otherwise, you will not do what you did. And now those people, they are trying to defend a false excuse claiming that the woman, she is the devil and she is the reason for man to do bad stuff. If you see a woman and she is beautiful and etc. and you know, you said you cannot control yourself. Why you cannot control yourself? Are you, even, even dogs, they control themselves. What do you mean? They want to turn this earth into a jungle where people do whatever they wish and then the victim will be blamed for what happened. And by the way, I'm sure that this guy, he will find a lot of supporters from the Abdul. A lot of Abdul will agree with him. There's a sheikh I remember in Australia. They were asking why a lot of uh, you know uh, rape crime happened from uh, from the Islamic society. He said, "Well, what you expect if a woman she show her skin? What you expect?" Well, women they show their skin in this society before you come there from your country and nobody was raping them what happened to you and if Islam is a religion make you a better person why the better person who follow Allah he cannot control himself Muslim they claim that Islam teach you how to control yourself and they give you an example of fasting by the way, in Islam, they don't control themselves. They do the opposite. Four wives, unlimited numbers of wives. Four wives at the time together, which means you can have four every new day. Every five hours, every two hours, every five minutes. You can divorce four, marry four, unlimited. And when they fast, they fast not. They do the opposite. This is why Muslims in Ramadan, they gain weight. And the food price goes skyrocketing. Because of what they do, they switch upside down the day and the night. So they eat at night and they sleep at the daytime. And yet they say, we are fasting. And that's explained to us, by the way, why uh, Malaysia is now hosting Zakir Naik, who is wanted for terrorism, as I heard. This country is going mad. It's a small, tiny country, but obviously, it's going mad. This is what Islam can bring to your land. Your wife, she can be raped. Your sister can be raped. And we blame your sister for being raped. That what is this cult can do. Anyway, I'm not going to stay here for long. I want to wish you a good time. And uh, uh, maybe later uh, during the day, I might go live on air again. Uh, YouTube, they change the way they do streaming. 
That's why it took me a little bit of time to figure out how it worked. Uh, I will try to go live again, which means today, if not late at night. And until then, I want to say thank you guys for being here. And don't listen to those idiots. And don't do what they say. And don't believe in such a garbage. A man, a man who gave himself excuses for a crime, that will not change the fact that it is a crime. All the crimes have excuses if you want to look for one. Anything we do in our life, we can give it an excuse. Regardless if it's bad or good. And always your excuse will be ready. Always. It is you who God, he gave him a gift. It's called the brain. So you can make decision and then by making decision, you will pay the price of what you do. You see, if the law of Islamic law protecting you from because you abuse women and that law protecting you, then one day you will stand in the front of our Lord and he will punish you for abusing women. God, he created Adam and Eve and Eve was created to be the spouse of Adam. But all, both of them, the Bible called them Adam. And the woman, she is created as a human being, not as a sex toy. And this is why God, he created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Eve's. One man, one woman, to be a family. And sexual, uh, 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 like uh, a pleasure, was a gift from God. So the man and the woman, they will like the idea to have sex so they can reproduce you see uh, when God he punished Adam and Eve out of heaven you will see they have children not inside the heaven they have children out of the heaven because in heaven they have eternal life when they are out of heaven their eternal life is given from them but God, he gave them other option that you can live and continue by a reproduction. It is a new form of eternity. So your cells and your body, your blood will transform into another human being. You die, he live, and then his children live. So we are children of children of children of children which means God really don't want us to die, even though we deserve to die. So while the God of our belief, he was merciful to the point he gave us opportunity to reproduce, and sexuality was a gift, but not to abuse. The God of Islam abusing that gift, in this case is Muhammad. The God of Islam blaming women for being beautiful, to be evil and to be the devil, which is absolutely stupid. Because not only man can be seduced by women, women can be seduced by men too. Who told you that women have no eyes? Who told you that women, they don't have a feeling? Who told you that women, they cannot be tempted? So why we judge the women, we don't judge the man? Stupidity is the most thing I hate in my life. It's really disgusting. And Islam encourages us to be stupid and not to use our, like, uh, the normal gift God he gave us to to go with what, what makes sense, what is right. You see, human being being given inside him a kind of ability to make judgment. Even if you are a cave time, even if you are a person who never heard the Bible, still God created you with certain knowledge where you can make a judgment. And Islam will take that from you. Sadly, we don't have any Muslim want to say anything. Otherwise, we will be willing to take calls. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? If there is any Muslim would like to call me in Skype. If there is any Muslim, I'm willing to take your call, by the way. 
Anyone? Yeah, somebody sent me pictures in uh, in uh, in Skype, but we cannot show them. You know. Yeah, and you know, I mean, uh, you know, sometime like. Uh, uh, let me show you this picture. Those are girls wearing hijab. They are Muslims. But look at their look at their short skirt. All right. So now, according to this guy, those women, if they are raped, according to this idiot, uh, they are the reason. You know, they are the reason because they are wearing a skirt and they are showing their legs. And by the way, I find it funny. I mean, what the point of this hijab if you are wearing such a short skirt? But I will tell you what's happening here. Most of Muslim women, the second they go and leave the country, they go to the bathroom and they change their clothes. Like I remember when I was uh, in a school, uh, we traveled from city to city and <clears throat> we were two guys in the front. It's like a taxi, you know. So, like, uh, the taxi driver, he says, uh, either you wait and we take other three with us because we have, uh, it's only two of us, two of us, uh, or you pay for the whole taxi. He said, we know we wait. So, we waited. <clears throat> and then three girls, like, exactly like those girls. But they were wearing hijab to the point you can see nothing. Even there is a hat under the, the, the hijab, which means their hair cannot be seen through. And wearing long clothes, etc., and then uh, he dropped them in a city in our way. And the driver, he said, okay, we have to wait now so we can get another three person to replace their seat. Otherwise, if you want, we can continue, but you pay for the other three. We said, no, we wait. We waited in the, in the, 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 like the company, uh, the taxi office. And uh, three girls, they came and they said to the guy, his name is Abu Muhammad, they said to him, oh, we forgot something in your trunk. The guy, he said, oh, no, no, you did not come with me. He said, no, 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 we came with you. He said, no, 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 you did not come with me. The girls who came with me, they are wearing hijab, wearing niqab. We can see their, we cannot see their face. And look, this is not you. Those girls, they are wearing like a Spanish style dresses, showing their chest, showing their shoulders, like there's no hijab. You know, like what happened? He said, no, 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 yes, this is us, you know, well, this is us. And this is what they do. So they jump just to different city. They are going to school in different city. Their parents is not there. The second they go there, they change all their clothing. They just arrive. They went home. They changed their clothes, and now they found something missing. The little bag is missing. So they came to take it back, but the Neither us, neither the driver. And, and the driver, he could not believe it. He says, no, you did not come with me. And then she, they start telling him about things he was saying about his family to us because he was talking to us. You know, we are the men talking to him in the front. They start saying to him, you told them about your son, what he's doing, blah, 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 blah. You know, the guy, he could not believe it. And then we, we went, this driver, he says, I will never let my daughter go to study in different school, in different city. But this is because Muslim they force their women to behave in a way they don't they are not convinced with. So they force them to wear certain clothes, and when the second they get their freedom, you see, my friend, freedom is the key to know the person. Give him a freedom. Women in Islamic society, even though they live in the West, they don't have a freedom because they live in their society. Give them a freedom to go away and nobody knows them. And then you will see a totally different person. You see a guy in Saudi Arabia, he work as a work as a sheikh, he grow his beard, etc. He go to Philippines right away, he want a black label in the table. Night club. Number one customers for prostitution is coming from Saudi Arabia 
in those countries I remember once a Saudi in the in the restaurant he asked the waitress uh, he have two hookers with him in the table they are Saudi you can tell from their accent and they have whiskey they have and then he asked the waitress do you have halal food like what that what look look how he is how conservative he is he don't eat pork my friend he have hookers with him you can tell they are hookers and he have whiskey expensive quality and now he's asking for halal food and yet they blame who they blame the women actually in the when I was in the Philippines you know when you see it as a foreigner and me because supposedly I'm a Middle Eastern as you know so I, I noticed that all prostitution when they walk by prostitute they say hi Habibi they speak Arabic yeah for sure they speak Arabic their customers are Arab we are number one customers once there was a Abdul he's a Saudi and uh, he sat next to me in the coffee shop and he have supposedly a girl with him and I look at the girl she this is not a girl this is a lady boy I said to myself maybe this idiot did not know that this is a guy not a girl so the lady boy went to the uh, bathroom uh, and he's alone so he you know uh, you know we talk etc I told him by the way the one with you is not a girl you know that right and he looked at me and he said and what's your business what's your business and then the lady boy came and then he whispered to her and the lady boy looked at me and look almost want to kill me you know he told her that's all told him that this guy he told me that you are not a girl you know I thought this guy he did not know maybe he will go to the bedroom now and he will find a surprise surprise <laughs> but look like this is what he like this is what they like actually number one uh, contract uh, uh, like uh, hiring for for people in the in Saudi Arabia is for gays why because they can take them sleep with them and then they will not be accused of uh, like if you sleep with a woman she can be she can carry your child and you cannot you know you will be in, in trouble it's a gay it's a guy he can come to his house anytime he can come to your house anytime he can sleep over and nobody will complain this is that this is the mentality of the society there is a video I published long time ago that in the city of Jeddah more than 45 percent more than 45 percent of the population of Jeddah they have a sexual relationship male to male and mostly it's a family member with family member not only which mean with a stranger even family member because everything is locked inside the walls female with female male with me with male this is a society where you can if you are a female you can invite your cousin to sleep with you in the bed they allow that and she's a female it's okay but don't those two females they never saw a man the, you encourage you, 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 you encourage sorry you encourage uh, uh, such a behavior in the society because you don't allow the men to see women and women to see men so women they go to women and men they go to men and then they grow like that and because the society have such a culture that okay you are a girl oh you want to invite your friend to sleep over oh, okay she's a girl okay she can come and then the family they agree they know the family they trust the family so the girls they go and then they go in the bedroom and they start doing things they are teenage and they want to try something so Islamic society for sure provide no solution this is why in Islamic society you cannot trust your wife walking alone you can go right now and search sexual harassment in Egypt you will find thousands of men walking behind the women but just because she is wearing the jeans same in Saudi Arabia thousands I'm not talking about ten people five people I'm talking about literally thousands it's a chaos you think there's like a revolution happening you think there's people are striking against the president or something it is just the women walking in the street because this is what Islam does so uh, I hope we learn that 
we cannot really accept Islam to be uh, something to learn from and there is no way Islam can be something to learn from I never uh, you know I never really saw anything good about this religion to learn from what we can learn from this religion I don't see anything so we have to be careful and we have to be smart and we have to use our brain and not to let them to destroy you know the the, the human being inside us and let the animal grow because you are the one who can control when you want to be an animal and when you want to be a human otherwise uh, everyone can rape everyone can kill everyone can steal the difference between us and animals that we control ourselves so if we have such a man like this following such a religion saying that we should punish women for seducing men that mean he is encouraging the animal to be an animal and he is punishing the victim for being a woman that's the whole story women is the one to blame thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and ante will see you again maybe tomorrow christ is lord islam is false and see you soon thank you